Hi, and welcome to another Sealed in Time production, where we bring historical photos to life. Please consider leaving a like and a comment, letting us know which photo is your favorite. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the show. A 1912 photograph of West Street near Warren Street in New York City showcases the bustling early 20th century urban landscape captured by Edwin Levick. Horatio Coppola captures the essence of daily life in Buenos Aires in 1936, a city brimming with cultural and architectural elegance. Diane Arbus's 1967 photograph of a woman with a bird mask in New York City reveals the surreal and enigmatic side of urban life. A snapshot of New York City in the 1920s by Irving Browning, showing everyday life at 41st Street and Park Avenue. A behind-the-scenes look at the meticulous craft of wax mannequin creation in 1931, highlighting the crafter's attention to detail. Elliot Erwitt's photograph of Pittsburgh captures the industrial spirit and grit of early morning 1950 America. A late morning photo of a mother and her young child walking down a street in 1935 San Francisco. The photographer Eugene Atgett's photographs of Paris in the 1890s document the city's transition into the modern age with a touch of nostalgia. Sabine Weiss captures the quiet charm of rural France in 1950, portraying the timeless sunrise beauty of Dun sur Auron. Chuck Michon's 1970s photograph of Central Park offers a serene view of New York City's beloved green space amidst the urban hustle. Laura Young was an American model and was photographed by Pompeo Pozar for Playboy's Playmate of the Month in October of 1962. Belle Isle Park in Detroit, Michigan was filled with visitors on a hot summer's day in 1904 where picnicking, canoeing, and relaxing were the usual activities. The Manhattan Bridge, which crosses the East River in New York City, connects downtown Brooklyn at the Flatbush Avenue extension with Lower Manhattan at Canal Street. Mary Pickford and Mary Louise Miller are seen on the set of Sparrows, an American silent film about a young woman who rescues a baby from kidnappers. In this 1912 South Carolina photograph, a family tries to help a small bird they found wounded on the ground as it attempts to fly away. A delivery truck is loaded for another round from the H. Sycamore Flower Shop, located at 2635 Granville Street in 1932 Vancouver. Terrell Station, situated along the Darling River in New South Wales, 
was once a cattle and sheep station, but is now a defunct pastoral lease operation. This 1899 view of downtown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, shows Broad Street looking north from Spruce Street, with the Capitol building visible in the distance. Two female factory workers take a break outside in 1940 London, England, captured in this photograph by Harry Todd. The Short Crusader was a British racing seaplane from the 1920s built by the Short Brothers to compete in the 1927 Schneider Trophy Race. Kai Brendlinger was born September 8, 1943, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and was photographed by Pompeo Posar for Playboy's Playmate of the Month in November of 1964. A tourist bus drives along Riverside Drive, a scenic north-south thoroughfare in Manhattan, New York City, in this 1910 photograph. Local children play in the Gardner Street area at the corner of Abbey Street and North King Street in 1912 Belfast, Ireland. Edward Troutman captures Nora Mayfield and Frank Miles in early 1900s Cimarron, New Mexico during a visit to his studio. A 1920 photograph by Lewis Wicks Hine of a powerhouse mechanic tasked with checking each bolt to ensure they remain tight. Two gentlemen friends pose for a studio photograph in the early 1900s, immortalizing their friendship. Construction workers who travel for work read the paper to find their next job as their current project nears completion. Miss Mary Hoyt Weiborg, a playwright, art patron, and socialite, hosts two friends for tea at her 1922 Manhattan apartment. The 1904 Maplewood Hotel and its surroundings, located in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, part of the rugged northern Appalachian Mountains. The aftermath of a snowstorm that brought over 30 inches of snow to Montreal, Canada in mid-March 1937 is captured in this photograph. Mrs. Hurovich steps out of her Williams County, North Dakota home with her son for a photograph in 1937. A 1953 photo of a Napoli, Italy shoeshine boy enjoying a fresh plate of pasta from a local cafe during a break.